What's up, everybody? Once again, my name is Matt, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the last episode, we went all the way around the Lanayru Gorge and revived the Thunder Dragon. As thanks, he taught us the third part of the Song of the Hero. He also told us that if we wait a little bit and talk to him, we'll have something special for us. So, that's what we're going to be doing in this video. Hopefully enough time has passed, and uh, his surprise is ready for us. So, let's talk to him and find out. Whoa, Link, I told you to wait a little while, but you just couldn't resist, eh? Well, I guess there's no sense in waiting any longer. Let's get this show started. Of course, seeing as how you're the hero of legend, you don't really have time to just goof off here, right? Right, so how about we make this a bit more fun and meaningful by taking you back through some of those challenges you faced previously? You know, sometimes you gotta step backwards to go forward. There's a lot you can learn from revisiting your past struggles. Oh, yes. So, Link, are you game? Uh, sure. You're a true hero. That's the spirit. Then if you would permit me, I'll take a peek at your past experiences. Uh-oh, this could be awkward. Indeed, indeed. You have done some amazing things, like battling fierce foes and overcoming the daunting trials in the Silent Realm. Alright then, based on those experiences, you can choose one of the two exciting challenges. Which one would you like to try? Pick whichever one you like. Alright, so yeah, we could revisit Silent Realms, or we could go through a boss gauntlet. You want to go through the boss gauntlet if you want to get the final piece of heart, and uh, the best shield in the game, so that's what we're doing. You want to do battle? Fantastic! I like your moxie. Because you chose battle, I will select from only the toughest opponents you've ever faced. And I will use my power to recreate the same battle, so you can face your greatest enemies once more. You're being a good sport, so I'll reward you. Do well enough, and I might give you something truly special, an absurdly sturdy shield. Oh, but if you lose... Well, let's just say that this isn't just a game. If you lose, it's all over. You won't be going home in one piece. Still interested? Ah, uh, heck yeah. Spoken like a little warrior. I like it. Alright then, which period of your journey would you like to face an enemy from? Alright, so this is basically choose your difficulty. So, we can sort of rig the first battle in our favor. If we choose later on, those are the harder fights. If we choose the middle, those are the boss fights in like the middle of the game. But if we choose the beginning, those are going to be like the easy bosses from the very beginning. So, that's where we're going to start. At least it'll give us a one free fight advantage. From the beginning of your journey, huh? In that case, let's see. Here we go, these guys look pretty tough. Which one would you like to face? Uh, so we can pick pretty much anyone here, doesn't really matter. Let's just go with the Imprisoned, because Imprisoned one is pretty easy. Alright, you'll face the Imprisoned. It's that gigantic thing you bat off the sealed grounds. Ah, I forgot to tell you something. The only items you can use in battle are items you would have had at the time. Yep, that's it. Also, pouch items are prohibited. I know that sounds really hard, but you fought these guys once before, so I've got to keep it interesting. Hmm, maybe I am being a little bit rough on you here. Tell you what, I'll let you take the shield you currently have equipped. You're all set? You've got a shield on and everything. If you're ready, we're gonna do this for real. Are we ready? Heck yeah, man, let's do this. Psych yourself up for this. Oh, I'm ready. Here we go. So, uh, basically how this works is in order to get both the piece of heart and the best shield in the game, we need to survive this gauntlet two separate times. For the piece of heart, we need to battle our way through four bosses, and then once we quit, he will give us the final piece of heart, and that will complete the final heart container. Once that is done, we need to reset and uh, survive eight bosses total, and if we successfully do that and quit, he will give us the best shield in the game, the absurdly sturdy shield as he's calling it. But uh, there is another catch. The Thunder Dragon hasn't told us about this yet, but after the first boss, he gets to pick what we fight next. So it is like entirely random. You can only choose like the first fight and make that one easy. Everything else is pretty much up to luck after that. Regardless though, since we've seen all these bosses before, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to speed up the footage and get through this as quickly as I possibly can, so I'll see you guys when I'm done with these first four fights.
Well done, spectacular skills on display once again. Here's how long it took you to finish off the Imprison. 3 minutes 52 seconds. That was Imprison 2, by the way. Hey, you know what? That was your first time reliving that battle. Let's celebrate with a little prize for your efforts. Here's 50 rupees. Go on, then take it. So you can just, like, summon money then. That's pretty cool. Quit now and you'll get yourself a not-too-shabby piece of heart. But the next win will net you a fabulous 300 rupees. What'll it be? Do you want to continue? No thanks, I'm good. Right, no need to knock yourself out fighting these enemies here, right? Might as well save yourself for the real battles, I suppose. But you battled hard. Just as I promised, I'll give you this. And with that, we've got the final piece of heart. So this will complete our 20th heart container. Come back for a battle anytime. You know where to find me. Alright, so we're about a third of the way done with the lightning rounds. We still have to survive eight consecutive battles just to get the absurdly strong shield, which is the best shield in the game. So, once more to the breach, guys. Now, for this um, second run through, I will be speeding up and playing music, but I will also be uh, cutting out any duplicate battles from the first section just because there is really no point in like showing off all that same content twice. So, that being said, let's get right to it, guys. Hopefully I survive, and I'll see you guys on the other side.
my gosh, guys. We got so lucky. We only had to fight the mid-game bosses and the early-game bosses. Like, that was probably one of the best run-throughs of the lightning round I have ever had. No joke. Super happy with how that turned out. So, we did it, man. We survived eight fights. And if we quit right now, we'll get the absurdly sturdy shield. And that's exactly what I want. I don't care about your 2,000 rupees. You can keep them, man. Just give me that shield. Right. No need to knock yourself out fighting these enemies here, right? Might as well save yourself for the real battles, I suppose. But you battled hard. Just as I promised, I'll give you this. And with that, we got the Hylian Shield, which is kind of weird considering Hyrule hasn't even been established yet, but whatever. And the best part is, it's indestructible. Our pouch is full, so that's going right off to the item check. Come back for a battle anytime. You know where to find me. Yeah, fat chance, buddy. We are done with the lightning round, so we no longer need to go through there ever again. That took freaking forever, guys. You have no idea, but I'm glad that it's done. And now that we have that out of the way, I think that's a great place to end off this video. So, if you guys enjoy this part, a like rating would be greatly appreciated. If you guys want to see more, consider subscribing. But once again, my name is Matt. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.